Hello! Time to celebrate! Woo! Um, it's crazy. Um, my radiation treatments are done. All 30 of them. Uh, it, thankfully, the time went by fairly fast. There's been lots of people still supporting me and praying for me and just just being amazing and uh, thank you for that. Um, yeah, so things are coming to an end. I met with my surgeon not that long ago and things are healing up well and he basically said, well, things are well so you don't need to see me anymore, which is a, a nice thing to hear. I mean, he's a nice person, but I mean, seeing him would mean that there was still things to deal with and right now things look like they're going well. Um, yeah, I'll have my first um, MRI on Octo in October and then after that I'll have one every four months for the next while um, just to keep track of things make sure it's not going back um, yeah I, I can show you my scar uh, it's kind of red but I will show you it anyway here it is it's still irritated from radiation and I guess will be for a while um, but as long as I keep it out of the sun and keep putting cream on it, I should be fine. Um, yeah. Uh, while I was at the surgeons, um, I had a meeting with the surgeon. They asked me if I would sign a release form because they want to use my tumor in case studies and study it and try and figure out more about it because it is, it isn't a normal kind of tumor. It's fairly rare. Um, so yeah, they're going to use it. They kept it and I said, yes, go ahead. Um, because if something great can come out of this and they can help people um, by researching my tumor, then that's just a blessing. Um, yeah. Uh, to thank the oncology area of the cancer clinic, my uncle, who has long hair, has offered to cut his hair off if we donate $2,000 to the cancer center. Um, so far we're at 600 and something. Now the cutoff date is coming really soon. It's June 30th. Um, I know lots of people have joined the Facebook group and say that they plan on donating, but uh, now would be the time if you are able to donate, please do. And just message uh, myself or my uncle and let us know how much you're donating. Even if the money isn't at the Cancer Center by the 30th, just let us know how much you plan on donating and we'll trust that you will uh, have the money find its way to the cancer center uh, when you're able to. Um, yeah, so you can either do it online or you can do it uh, through the mail. Uh, just go to the Facebook group called Buzz Cut for Bethany and it'll tell you all of the information there. Um, yeah, uh, other than that, there's not too much new. Um, I can't think of anything else that I wanted to share with you. So thank you so much. Um, things are going well. I am still exhausted uh, once in a while. Well, usually once a day or so. Yesterday I laid down for a half an hour nap and stayed there for I think it was almost two and a half or three hours. Oops. Oh well. Um, I didn't have anywhere to go so I think my body must have needed it. Um, so thank you so much for everything and continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers. And the song playing right now is called Stand By Me. Um, it's a version by um, it's on a CD called Playing for Change, Songs Around the World. Uh, it's, it's people basically all around the world that played their instrument or sang individually to this song. And, and it's people all the way from some famous people to uh, street people and just people with amazing talent. And they just blended it all together and made this amazing album. So it's called Playing for Change. So check it out. Um, it's, it's very uplifting and just a great, a great CD. So anyway, thank you so much for everything. Uh, I wanted to make sure I updated you. My computer was in the shop, so now I have it back, and now I'm done radiation. So I thought, what better time to, to do a video. All right, well, thank you so much, and I love you all. All right, bye.